when I really want it. My name is Joni, and I'm a retired school teacher. I believe that everyone has an addiction, but I'm not really hooked on anything that I must have, except my thing. I love costume jewelry, clothes, magazines. I'm Teresa, and Joni is my grandmother. My grandmother is addicted to shopping. She goes to shop 15 times a week. If she could, she'd go more, like literally, for anything. If she has a coupon for a pack of gum, my grandmother will go to the store and get that pack of gum. Two days ago, I seen three cases of macaroni and cheese in her car. Whatever she has the money for, she will buy. I'm Joey, my mother's oldest son. Every inch of available space in the house, every inch, filled. There's uh, a wide variety of stuff. Jewelry, antiques, gold, little caches of money that she hidden from us. There's no room to walk. In the upstairs floor, you have to bend over just to like get through. Filthy, it's absolutely filthy. The city said that it was the fire hazard. They shut off the electric, the gas, and the utilities. I'm Sal, I'm Joni's boyfriend. She was all messed up at the time at the house. I felt sorry for her. She had, really had nowhere to go, so I took her in. After this months, on by, she kept bringing stuff over, the books, the magazines, the clothes, the jewelry. I start questioning about, you know, what's going on? Sal is very frustrated, and it feels like he's getting crowded out of his space. Like, everything's pushing in on me, you know? Like everything's caving in. And there were times I felt like I was going to go to the hospital. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. Oh, boy. If I don't clean this out, Sal will kick me out of the apartment. He says he needs room to breathe. I don't want to throw her out, but enough is enough. I just can't. Take it anymore. Sal doesn't want to lose his apartment because of her sickness, but you know, why should he suffer? He ain't her child. Like we were, we didn't have a choice. That was our mother. Uh, you know, my childhood was very difficult. There was always food, there was always nice clothes to wear. We had everything we always wanted, except for a clean house. I'm Suzanne Chabot, and I'm a specialist in OCD and hoarding. The paradox about Joni's life is she wanted to keep her boys safe. So she gave them money and things that they wanted, but in truth, nobody was safe. People's lives were destroyed. Hoarding took over her life. She knows that this is the last straw. If she doesn't do something now, she will be homeless. Early morning, we got so much work to do. I've got 20 guys ready to roll, and I can't get started without them. My name is Matt Paxton. I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. When is your family getting here? Because I really want to get here. My brother will be mom. here in about um, 25 to 30 minutes. I need to communicate to them that time is of the essence for the rest of the week. What's the best way for me to communicate that to them? I'm assuming yelling at them is not the I'll proper take care way. Of it. All right. I, we need to really stress that yeah, we I'll need them here on time the rest of the I'll week. I'll take care of it. Hello? Frank, where the f are you? You can hurry up. No one can do anything until you get here. You don't know why, because you're a f part of the your mother. Frankie, he doesn't believe that we can't start without him. He's lazy, and that's my mother's fault. My mother was always praising me and putting him down. What do you want? We, we're just getting started. That's what we got. Okay, here's your bin, Ma. Okay. 
I don't mean to be ruthless, but my, you know, I, I got know. these people here. All these clothes are going. I'm not wasting your time. They got three days. I don't think you need to look at the clothes. The clothes all got to go. Hello, that's this, Poppy. Did this? they sign it, Poppy? <laughs> Poppy signed, they signed that when he had a heart attack. Are you going to bring it to the cemetery? Did you want me to put it on your grave? No, but it's not mine. It's my father's. Time out. Let, well, time he's out. dead. Time out. Joey. He's the head of the family. He's been doing it since he's a little boy. And his mother is totally intimidated by him. I thought you might want to say something to For what? To live like you? No. I throw it out. I'm not throwing it out. You save gotta it. let her save a few things. That's part of the deal. You're in the first room. Nope. To I've fill done it up this. Like this. I've done about 500 of these. I actually know okay. what I'm doing. Go ahead. She can save a few things. Well, if she comes back and says no, you're, do, you're too. saying no because you don't want to upset no, your son. No, just throw it up. There's going to be a lot of those I, pillows. I'm very aware of how much stuff is here. And by the next room, you'll be changing your mind. You're going to get frustrated. I'm already frustrated. She frustrates like no other. The whole strategy of trying to get Joni to make good decisions, it's not going to happen when one person dominates the family. Where you going, Maya? I would never eat out of that dish. Here's my heart over here. What are you going to do with that heart? I put, put it with... No, I'm like, you know what? I swear to... I'm, I'll leave. I'm not playing no more. Why can't I have my... Uh, this, this? Why? Because you got 400 of them. No, I don't. Look, this one... Now you can't have it. You're supposed to be here. You don't want to be on call. I do. I'm on my knees yeah, in there. You're on knees. Did I feel it? Did I did I live here? You're supposed to be here. Take whatever, Joe. Good. When I evict you out of Townsend. Yeah, evict you. Know what I'm you think yeah. I'm a an idiot? You want me to change your diaper? <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my god. Get a phone. Someone grab a phone. I don't have a phone. I turn around, Joni's on the ground. She's got blood coming down her face. Let me it's get the blood up. Hold it. I think she just tripped over a stick is what it looked like. The issue with me is that the kids just continued to fight as their mother is on the ground bleeding. Me? Yeah, all right, I'll stay. That's right, yeah. no. I got it. Yeah, all right, Joe, He's blame on. me. I That's right, blood. you're home and I'm on my knees. Guys, your mom is, can you guys go somewhere else and fight? Seriously, go somewhere else and fight, both It's of always like this. Mama. It's always like this. I've never seen a family this dysfunctional in my life. And here they are behind me yelling right now. Yeah, I want the world to know what a you are. Yo, get the camera out of my face, man. I try to smack. They didn't even call for an ambulance. We actually had to get on the phone and call the ambulance ourselves. You want me to stay here at the house or you want me to come no, to the hospital? To Don't, worry the house. Don't worry about your house. I'll I take care of it, okay? Twig. Yeah. Man. I mean, my gets up. These are my rare firework collection. There's 25 pages in here. When we got back, uh, we realized that the guys had accidentally thrown away a really important scrapbook of Joey's. I've been collecting these since I was seven years old. I got a baby. Stop screaming. You know what? We've thrown away 6,000 pounds of trash today, and you're bitching yeah. at us. I said, don't go in the room. But, Wait, no. but they're going to take it out, so what's going to go now? It's gone. For him, it taps into a very deep and old wound that what I care about is not important to you guys, no matter what I say. All this stuff you could have thrown away. He's furious. The hallway in the bathroom isn't done. I'm going to go talk to the junk guys. OK. The stage I saw. Ooh. Why did you just throw that almost at the producer? Because I'm pissed. My computer desk. Wasn't supposed to go. It's cost me eight hundred dollars. I can't sit around and be berated and yelled at for hours on it. It's not okay. It's in the bin. What is All it? All right, pull the desk out. And we're done for not the day. Not that piece. The mahogany one. Pull out what you want, and we're done. Where's my labels? Thirty years old. Huh? And it's no longer safe for any of my crew to be here. John, guys, close yeah, it up and get out of here. You're done.
were way beyond our comfort zone as far as any aggression towards the crew. This ain't about no one but your crew. It's the crew. We had to put our cameras down, everybody as a team. We agreed we needed to leave. After we left the property, we continued to get phone calls throughout the night, uh, and they just intensified. It's the first time I've been like, oh my god, I'm, I'm going to get my ass kicked right now. Like, this is going to happen. Like, mm -hmm. this guy's going to hurt me. We have to put our safety ahead of cleaning this house. This morning, we made a final decision. We're leaving. This is so sad. This poor woman needed help. How are you? How are you feeling? Uh, my ribs hurt a lot, and uh, my eye is sore, was still bleeding. I had blood oh, the way before. Joni's really upset this morning. It's been a very traumatic experience for her. We got 400 of them! Now you can't have it. It was so stressful for me, and the threatening, the language, everything was just threatening. Hey, you mother we're here right now, or I will smash your car. You got really wild, the screaming. Just come and do something. Joey is out of control. You think I'm a fucking idiot? You want me to change your diaper? It's just hurtful. It's just hurtful. I'm concerned about what your future is going to be. We'd like to see people get back into their homes. That's right. a big part of this. This is not going to happen. The reality financially we're in is even if this family were able to come together and focus, it would still cost probably 100 grand or more to fix this home. They need to just either let the city take it and move on or try to sell it as is. You're going to need to take care of yourself. I will offer her arrangements for aftercare services to help at least get Sal's apartment in shape where maybe she can stay there a bit longer. We want you to be safe. The most important thing is that you change the way you deal with your sons. If she's to have any security in her future, she has to say no. No to her boys, no to everybody that depends on her for money. It's time to heal. Joni will be able to go see a therapist who can work with her on the hoarding. But foremost, she has to work on boundaries in her family. Because if she can't get peace in her life, she will keep turning to hoarding to relieve herself. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.